Boom. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we are going to talk about two major IPOs that are going out tomorrow. Again, these are major IPOs. One is a tech IPO. The other one is a fintech IPO. So I want to make sure that we cover those on the channel because I personally think these are major IPOs. Uh, before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So that's something that interests you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content so when it comes to ipo i usually caution you guys that uh, most often than not when ipos come out they usually would kind of you know squeeze up and then reverse so if it's an ipo that you're looking to buy long term i'd always say don't jump in day one unless you have enough money to continue average your way uh into the into the stock with because after that opening uh, squeeze, there's usually a pullback and then you can open the position and then start adding to that position. That's usually what I, I'll tell you guys. So uh, both of these IPOs, I do like them long term. And I'm going to give you guys my reasons why. So before we even jump into my reasons why, I wanted to kind of talk about the companies first. So uh, the company, the first one here is uh, it's called HashiCorp. So for people that work in tech, um, you probably have heard about this company because they are uh, one of the, the, the top companies that do um, automation for infrastructure as a service. So uh, if you work in, in the, the tech space right now, you have in the cloud space, there is a lot of automation going on. So you can automate a uh, platform as a service. You can automate infrastructure as a service uh, and all these different services. So these guys provide a service where you can actually do some automation. So one of the key products that a lot of people that work in, in, in the tech space, especially DevOps engineers, they use uh, Terraform. So you would see it, you know, if you heard about it, or if you haven't heard about it, definitely go read about them. They are like a giant in that space and they have a list of other products that you can definitely go to the website um, and, and take a look. So I like them. I like the company. I like what they're doing. So I finally they're going public and I think this one is going to be um, a massive IPO. So right now they're currently pricing the IPO uh, at about uh, between 65 and 75 dollars, uh, somewhere within that range. So but again you guys know that usually when they say between 65 and 75 this thing is going to come out of the gate and price at about 90 dollars they, they're going to pump it wall street's going to pump it um it's going to come out at 90 dollars remember when we talked about uh rivian here they were pricing it at 72 73 and guess what it came out at, it came out at about 100 bucks so this is going to, going to be the same thing uh i like this particular one even long term so again my game plan doesn't change here in, in the sense that I want to get in but um, opening day I'm gonna trade it and then wait for a pullback before I can jump in uh, and buy long term so that's again my strategy so I think this is gonna be major the ticket symbol is gonna be HCP so Hershey Corporation so that is the ticket symbol and again if you haven't go to their website read about the company read about what they do um, and the other things I actually read when I looked at their financials the company is doing excellent because um, their financials are actually showing that their, their revenue has been growing year over year so 2009 19 2020 2021 revenue has been on the upside which i really really like so um i would encourage you guys to go again uh do your due diligence and, and read about the company uh, and see what they do so if you can see here infrastructure automation security automation network automation application automation um and again with the whole uh idea that most companies are moving to the cloud uh, the development is becoming more and more one that requires automation. And again, the whole reason is because they're doing what we call uh, DevOps uh, development now. So DevOps means it's a combination of development and operations in into one. So there, it used to be two separate um, uh, operations, but now they're putting them as one. It used to be developers who build applications and then send them a, a deploy and hand it over to operations team and the operations team will start managing those applications. Now that has changed, um, they want it so that it's a, a continuous uh, pipeline where developers are developing and pushing their code and that code is it, it's being deployed and uh, operation they're monitoring and doing maintenance at the same time so we're not sitting there working in silo so uh, again guys go do some research I understand what's going on here because my, my background is in tech so I know exactly uh, the what this company does and I know the key role that this company plays in, in tech space especially in DevOps these guys are huge so again 
this the, the plan IPO here is somewhere between $65 and $75, somewhere within that range. Ticket symbol is HCP. So definitely put this on your watch list. And again, um, tomorrow there's really no fixed time as to when this is gonna come out. Um, but from my experience, most IPOs come out somewhere between 11 uh, a.m. and 1 p.m. Uh, Central Time. So you can put that either if you're in Pacific Time or if you're, you're the Eastern Time, put that there and figure it out uh, for yourself. So they don't have a specific time that they're gonna say, hey, the IPO is dropping at 11. No, they don't have that. You're just gonna be watching and keep your eye on it and make sure that uh, as soon as it drops and start trading, and then uh, you can jump in. So I really like them. So again, you can see here, this is information from uh, CNBC talking about the company. I mean, they're aiming right now for you know, for 13 million valuation. That is a big company, that's, that's not a joke. But again, if you understand what this company does and the tools that they currently have um, in the marketplace, uh, a lot of the tools are even open source tools. Um, you, you definitely know that the price that they're putting here is not a terrible price. So now let's jump on to number two. Number two on my list here is New Bank. I don't know if I'm saying this right. NU. Um, so this one, again, let me show you guys. Um, the street actually described this as Warren Buffett's fintech play is going public. So this is one that Warren Buffett actually supports. So again, uh, for context, this is one of the biggest bank in the world. Um, it up they operate in South America. I think they're based out of Brazil in South America. So again, they're going public. And just reading through it, you can see like you see some of the information they're putting out there that this company it brings in about forty thousand new users per day. That's I mean like that's insane. I don't even know uh, any company that does that. So you can see with an average of forty thousand new accounts being open each day. If you can see that right here, this is crazy. So I think this is a uh, one that's going to go places in my personal opinion again the ticket symbol for this one you can see here is nu um and again the price that they're going to be coming out and looking somewhere between 10 and 11 dollars um again the reason why i really like this one um i'm going to give you guys here so if you guys remember this company mercado libre i think we did a video here on the channel about them again this is um kind of like the amazon of south america if you can see they service all the south american countries uh, mercado libre it just went from like a no name to right now, if you look at where the stock price is trading, look at that, $1,200. And that's something that it's actually gone as, as hard as $1,900. You can see that back in February, this thing was trading at $1,900, which is insane. So they have expanded the space in South America. And now a lot of people have actually um, gotten exposure and understand that there is a huge market there. So again, if you look at this list of countries right here, uh, I think that no bank is going to benefit from this list of countries and, and with the exposure, I think they, they, they positioning themselves to be something big. So this is one that I plan on buying and holding long term. Again, the fact that they are coming out really, really cheap, uh, coming out at between uh, you know, $10 for me, I think I think it's a great opportunity. So I'm gonna definitely keep my eye on this one. So between eight and ten dollars, that's the range right now. It might come out even more expensive. I would say twelve or thirteen dollars. But again, um, I, I plan on buying this one long term. So even at ten dollars, I think it's it's a place for me to open a small position and then start building on it. And again, if we see what happened to uh, Mercado Libre. Um, with the South American market expanding, Brazil uh, expanding, they're getting into uh, you no know, fintech, getting into e-commerce, getting into crypto. Uh, again, this is our they call it developed countries. The people they are starting to understand uh, the importance of being like like operating in the globalized space. So opportunities because of the internet is getting to people across the world. So I believe strongly that this one in in the long run it's gonna be. Um, a good one to hang on to. So I definitely want to hold this one uh, long term. So these are two IPOs that I personally like. I think uh, long term, these IPOs have a uh, huge potential. But again, the strategy is you don't just jump in all, you jump in, open a position. So let's say you have $1,000 to put in, you can buy, uh, you spend two or $300 and then wait, when there's a dip, you add more. And when there's a dip, you add more and just keep building that position. So that is my investment strategy. And I hope that you guys are applying that too. Then that way, you, when you go into a position, you're not buying the, the tip. You're, at least you average your way um, into the position. Again, let me know in the comment section, 
uh, what you guys think. Um, just a quick recap here. We're talking about two IPOs that are going public uh, tomorrow. Number one uh, on that list is Hershey Cup ticket symbol. That's going to be going to be HCP. And their price target right now is somewhere between $65 and uh, $75. And then the second one is New Bank. A ticket symbol is NU. And the price target there is between $8 and $10. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think about that. If you're new here, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. If that's something that interests you, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content also guys if you're looking to get started with investing webo has their promotion where if you sign up and deposit one dollar two dollar three dollars you get free stocks at no cost to you and as always guys do your due diligence don't be a greedy savage stay motivated